Hey guys, this is Eric from Media Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars Attack the Clones. And this is the early pre order edition, so it does include the extra lightsaber and head sculpt, um, which I think is just way too important for people to miss. Um, it really sucks for people who didn't get this, and I'm not sure who is more evil, Bandai or Anakin, right? Um, but here's the left of the box, here is the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And I just like Anakin too much to not have the accessories. But, anyways, um, let's check out the figure itself. All right, so here we have the figure still in the inner packaging and it looks really good. Um, here's the pre-order bonus and let's just check out the figure itself. And here's Anakin Skywalker right out of the box. And as expected from SH Figure Arts, I think it looks really good. Um, but in terms of the engineering, I think it's exactly the same as Mace Windu and Obi-Wan, give and take. Um, so you're not going to have any surprises here. And let's take a closer look at the figure. Um, I like all this detail, the wrinkles on the cloth and all this softer material. And yeah, let's check out the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over from the neck down. Um, he can look up about this much, look down about this much, and he can turn his head no problem. And for the shoulder, just on a standard ball joint. And I don't think he has pull off gimmick. I tried to pull on it earlier, it didn't work. And the shoulder can swivel as well as the bicep, which is really nice. And he also has some butterflies, so he can pull off um, cross arm pretty easily, right? Um, still, still quite hard, but I think you should be able to pull something off. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Oh, I like that. And of course, you can remove the lightsaber. Um, he doesn't really have an ab crunch, but you can move it through the hip. So you can bend forward about this much, which is pretty decent. And you can bend backwards about this much, um, which is not a lot of range. And for the hip, it's the older SH figure arts joints. So you can pull this down, gives you a little bit more range, and then you can kick it up. And you can bend about this much, and you do have the side to side pivot. And this kind of reminds me of a Mesco 112, but it feels a little bit better. And you do have the toe hinge. And that's it for the articulation. He's pretty much exactly the same as Mace Windu and um, Obi-Wan. And let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, let us start with the default base. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Um, some people still don't like the hair color, but personally, I think it looks okay. And next up, we have the pre-order bonus head sculpt. And the more I look at it, the more I feel bad for the people who didn't get this. It sucks, because this one looks so much better than the default one, in my opinion. Um, they just capture like the evil vibe and the darkness of Anakin very, very well. Ah, <sighs> so annoying from Bandai. And next up, we have a pair of hands for him to use the force. And they're very nicely painted and sculpted. It looks really nice. And next up, he came with a pair of hands for him to hold a lightsaber. Um, but I feel like they should have given us another pair though, especially for $80 figure. Um, this one is more like he's holding it at an angle. Um, but I think you should be able to use the Obi-Wan hands on him, so it should be okay. And here is the regular release lightsaber, and let's try this out. Alright, so here we have him assembled with a lightsaber, and it looks very, very good. And one thing to note is that this hand feels very nice. Um, I think this is a different hand from the previous release, um, so I guess there is some improvement. Um, this one just feels a lot more secure. I think the fingers are a lot longer than the Obi-Wan one. So let me just kind of show you guys. Um, I think it feels a lot better than this one. This one feels really loose, but this one feels really, really secure. So yeah, pretty good. And lastly, we have the early bonus lightsaber, and they look very cool. Um, let's try them out. And here's Anakin dual wielding, which looks amazing. Um, hopefully, we get Dooku sooner than later, um, but I'm pretty sure that one's going to be really expensive as well. Um, but anyways, um, let's jump straight into the size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with the SH figure Star Wars figures I have around. And Anakin is actually quite tall, which is pretty cool. And if you're wondering where I got these cloth cape, I got them from eBay. And next up, we have some American IP SH figure arts, some recent Dragon Ball SH figure arts, the amazing Yamaguchi Venom and Spider Man, Mesco 112 Red and Punisher and Street Fighter SH figure arts, SH figure arts Kamen Riders. And lastly, we have some recent Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think the figure is really amazing, but it's also really expensive. Um, the last time I checked, he cost around 130 bucks, which is ridiculous. And I feel like this one should have been a regular release and it would do just fine. Um, but there's nothing we can do about that. Um, that's just how Bandai operates. And that's how they make money. Um, and I'm pretty sure they're going to come out with more variants. So if you miss out on this one, you can always wait for new stuff. There's always going to be new stuff coming out. Guys, I feel you. Like This happens all the time. Um, but, you know... I think that's it from me. And do let me know in the comments what you guys think. And feel free to rage some more. 
And this is Eric. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.